I am back from Turkey and I'm straight to the Royal Ascot. I have this gorgeous dress on. Hopefully I'll get to show you at some point today. It's obviously with, it's obviously Karen Millen. I'm going to the Royal Ascot with Karen Millen. I have a fascinator. But yeah, let's get going because yeah, I'm late. We have just made it to the Royal Ascot with Karen Millen. <laughs> Hi team, look how beautiful this whole setup is. I like the little hat. Thank you. So, Thank you. Cute little top hat. We are all head to toe caramelin, so we will show you our outfits. We're all colour scheming as well. We've got all. We're all matching. Like I'm, not, I'm sandwiched between sofas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sofas. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take you around Royal Ascot today. I'm going to put on some bets, drink some champagne, and outfit spot, outfit watch, because everyone looks spectacular. We've all already seen a poodle on someone's head. <laughs> no, a Dalmatian. Dalmatian, yeah. Dalmatian. And a parrot. Oh, and a parrot, yeah. Oh, wow. And a sunflower. Epic. Some epic outfits here already, so I'll, I'll do some style watching for you. We are just at the Royal Enclosure waiting for King Charles. Last time I was here, it was Queen Elizabeth, so it's a new, new royal family member, but we're at the Royal Occasion. Everyone has the most fantastic hats on. We've got everyone in Caramelin head to toe, looking all fabulous. But yeah, this is the Royal Enclosure. We've got some royal carriages. That's pretty, is that Charles? That's Charles there, you've heard it first. watching it on the TV. I know. <laughs> Wait, how long is this race? Really? What did we get? What did we get? Oh, oh, one. Oh. Was it number 11 or not? We can't handle this emotional torture. Was it 11? Is that us? Didn't win. Oh, that time. So I'm here at the Royal Ascot. As you guys know, I wanted to show you the outfits. Look how amazing this is. The hat, the dress, it's all caramelin. I'll link it down below. But look how stunning this painting is. So good, so good. Look what everyone else is wearing. <laughs> Woo! So we finally come to watch an actual horse race because we thought we needed to. <laughs> so we've come down to the front. But the weather here today is amazing, like it's beautiful. But I've just put a bet on four horses. So I should win one, should. But this is the grandstand. Look at the atmosphere. It's so cool. Top hats everywhere. Just heading out of the Royal Ascot now. Honestly, it's one of my favourite days each year. Everyone looks so fabulous. How would you rate the people dressing? Like 11 out of 10. They were amazing. They really put good. us to shame a little bit, to be honest. Are you impressed at how easily you can spot a Karen Millen dress? Easy. I have literally got it down to a T. It's <laughs> so easy to spot a Karen Millen dress. They're everywhere. Everywhere. But the one at the front before, I spotted her before you and I was like, Karen, 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 Karen. Karen, Karen. <laughs> 
<laughs> they must think, what the hell? Why are they going to talking about? <laughs> Honestly, the weather in England at the moment is amazing. Like, we're having such a heat wave, aren't we? Oh, yeah, it's so warm, it's amazing. It's unfortunately, beautiful. Unfortunately, guys, I've not found the husband today. I really thought today was the day. We tried really hard. We, we tried did, so hard. We didn't, know, didn't, did we? <laughs> we were just drinking and hoping someone would come to us. Well, although, I only attracted men over the age of eight, about 80. <laughs> I'm not quite there yet, but I seem to be a hit with the 80 plus region. So this is like my first day at home in a very long time. It feels like forever. I'm so tired. And first things first, I defrosted the freezer and deep cleaned the whole house. I don't know, does anyone get like that when they've been traveling for a while? Like I just had to like deep clean. <laughs> so I've hoovered, I've what put the washing machine on, I've defrosted the freezer. We're feeling clean, we're feeling good. I just wanted a little chit chat and like probably a little bit of a home vlog this week. I've got some outfits to show you that I think you'll like. I was gonna take them to Turkey with me, but my suitcase was too full. So I thought you'd quite like to see them. Some good race outfit ideas as well, like occasion wear. So we're gonna do that in a minute. But yeah, how are you? I feel exhausted, <laughs> but in a good way. I feel happy exhausted. Like last week was amazing. Like I cannot re recommend Cappadocia enough if you're looking for like a gorgeous place to stay. Okay, let's go try on some outfits. First one is this gorgeous. How amazing would this be for a races or a wedding? Absolutely amazing. I love the structure of it, like the, how well that bodice just like fits your waist. It has an underskirt, which has become, as you may know, <laughs> my fast favorite thing, like to just give things a little bit of like, va -va -voom. this actually comes with the skirt, but this is and other stories via ASOS. And it's incredible. Like I would feel amazing going to an event in this. Okay, this is the next option. I thought it was a little bit unusual. However, I didn't end it up didn't end up wearing it because I don't know whether it's my colour. Like it's the same colour as my skin, isn't it? <laughs> so great outfit, but wrong colour. Okay, so this is a cute little mini dress. Gorgeous fabric. I feel like it looked kind of like Zimmerman. But I have to say, <laughs> this is I'm obviously 35 now and I have my legs out all the time on Instagram. I'm very proud of my legs. Um so I wear the shortest shorts, the highest leg like, swimsuits. So what I'm about to say has nothing to do with aging, I don't think. As in like, I don't think I like where it, it, okay, how to put this? I feel like what it is, cause this is a cutesy, girly dress. When I'm 35, I feel like that's not the, that's not what I want to give off to the world. Like I want to be strong, I want to be powerful, I want to be taken seriously. So the vibe is off when you get older, I think. Does anyone else feel a bit weird about wearing, like particularly, like not mini skirts or mini shorts, love them, but like cute mini dresses. Like, I don't know, it's just not 35 year old me. But this is cute if any of you guys like it and <laughs> love that kind of thing. But for me, I think, yeah, I think that's what it is. The cutesy girly vibe is no more. R.I.P. her. <laughs> so this is the one on holiday <laughs> when you accidentally sunburn yourself from head to toe. The problem with this on me is I, my torso is so short that I feel like there's too much excess fabric. But I liked the vibe. I feel like... Like the, the ass is definitely out. And it's like a maxi to the floor. I like the sleeves on it as well, but I just feel like this swoop, that this has to, when you wear a dress like this, this has to fit properly. It's just a little bit too big for me, but cool, cool idea. How adorable is this? This is a two piece, which you know guys, I love because you can wear them on different outfits. This is from Abercrombie. How beautiful is that? I feel like it was like a Dior kind of print. It's got pockets in. These things are so easy to wear, especially on holiday. But I ordered two, I've got a black version, which I'm about to show you, but I ordered them in different sizes. I can't remember down below, I popped them. But they both fit, because it's elasticated, so is the back of this top. So I feel like if they've not got your size, like go up or down, because they still kind of fit. But how gorgeous is this? Um, as well, I have to say, Abercrombie tend to restock stuff a lot. So if you like something, keep an eye on it. Because I like this. I saw it. It was all out of stock and then they brought it back. How cute. So this is a black version. I feel like it's a lot chicer. 
like a chic vibe. I don't know which one I prefer. Which one would you guys prefer? But yeah, exactly the same. Can't tell the difference in the sizing. They both fit. <laughs> so I feel like it's one of, one of those outfits that like can fit. Oh my God, defrost in the freezer. Bits of ice keep like flinging off. <laughs> keep flinging and getting burgled. Um, so yeah, this will, if you eat a lot of pasta, it will grow with your food, baby. <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to show you some new in bits and um, have a catch up with you guys because we've not done a home vlog for a while now. So it's going to be a very self-care chit chat with you guys. I want to debrief. Good morning, guys. So I am um, got a little bit of a agenda day. Is that the right word? Um, I've got lots of errands to run. I'm going to go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to try not to sweat because I've got a meeting at Harrods afterwards with Wardrobe HQ, which I'm going to an event with tomorrow. So I'm going to go and pick a dress and um, yeah, I'll take you around the section at the Wardrobe HQ. Basically, Wardrobe HQ, you can rent beautiful dresses and I mean amazing. You can rent them online. I believe you can go into Harrods and have a try on. And I for like proper do's where you're not going to wear stuff a lot like one off occasions i think the whole renting space is such a good idea like it's something that i'm very pro so we're gonna see what they have and i'll take you around and you can see some options and hopefully i'll find a really good dress for tomorrow i've just been in the gym and then i've um, decided to walk to harrods from a gym but past the most beautiful houses like i love this neighborhood um definitely chose the wrong attire today <laughs> I am currently wearing a cardigan and black winter boots because it was chucking it down with rain and now it's gone into proper sunny weather again. So I'm actually sweating my ass off. I'm really lost. Let's look at this architecture. Very cool, but I have no idea where I am. I do always suggest if you're ever in London, try and walk instead of getting public transport because there's so many like hidden gems and everything's really close. So like things seem closer than on the map on the tube map. So you definitely get walking, but you can probably pay for <laughs> it's too hot. So it's the next day, I am ready for the event. Makeup done, dress steamed and on. It's really cool. I like this look a lot. It's very me. <laughs> I've got a train, what else? So I'm gonna take you, we're going to Chelsea Harbour rooftop, hotel rooftop today. So I'm gonna take you with me. The weather looks abysmal, which is crazy because we've had like solid sunshine for so long. But yeah, I've just got um, Pixie by Petra lipstick on. We've got Dior is always on the eyes. Let me show you. Then this is the look. You can actually rent this, guys, if you want it for an event. I will leave the link to my wardrobe HQ down below because they've got some amazing dresses. So if you've got something amazing to go to, check it out. Bag of choice this evening is this gorgeous Bulgari bag. Look at it. Yeah. Feel like you've lost your way. Yeah. Don't give up. No, don't give in. Like I've not sat down and chatted to you guys for so long and had a big catch up. So I thought that's what we do. I'm just getting ready. I'm just shooting outside in London today, but I'm ready super early. Just ignore this that I have. And this is my fake tanning um, dressing gown. So it's probably a bit stained. But um, yeah, I'm just shooting out in London today. I thought I'd have a catch up with you guys and tell you what's been going on. So I'm currently sat in an absolute pigsty of a room. There is clothes everywhere, steamers. Like, honestly, I feel like I need a big house because I can't house all the stuff that I have going on at the moment. It's like boxes, packages. It's like a factory, honestly. It's intense, so that's why we're in the corner. <laughs> um, yeah, what's been going on? I feel like I need to give you an update on where I am. Like looking for a house buys and stuff because I feel like so many of us are in the same boat so obviously I came back to London in like 
November and the plan was only to stay in this. This is a short term let, so all my stuff is in storage still. And then come January, when I, February, when I got really ill, all I wanted to do was go home to my mom and dad and my sister. So like, I was really into the idea of moving up north, which I still am, it's not off the cards, but more from like a buy to rent out situation, like um, rather than buying in London. Um, so I'm just kind of riding this out. I feel really happy here at the moment. The sun is shining, I get to use the roof terrace a lot. Like everything's going so well in terms of like career, like friends. I just feel like I'm in such a good place for the first time in so long. I don't know if you guys can see that like coming across when you watch my videos, but you guys know, I don't know, just the past few years has been so weird and such a roller coaster and like I don't know I think what I've learned in life is that once one thing goes wrong it kind of spirals so like when my health went out the window with long covid I don't know everything else just spiraled because I was in such a negative headspace so I've learned to not let one area dictate all areas. Um, it's definitely something to do with manifestation and the universe because once you're on an upward journey, like I said to my friend last night, I was like, I don't know, I just feel like the universe is on my side at the moment. And I felt like it was not on my side last year. Like all the things that went wrong was crazy. So yeah, now that I'm in this positive place, I'm just trying to like continue with the positivity and like all the attracting the good things to me but yeah i feel like my screensaver on my phone is like you're about to walk into the the time of your life you've been waiting for and i just don't know i feel like that is the case like everything is just th like from last year to now i feel like a whole different person and i feel like my old self and i saw a tiktok and um, I swear all my epiphanies happen on TikTok. I don't know. I'm going to tell you this in case it helps any of you guys out there. I saw a TikTok and it was like, you're in a room with your younger self. Like what, what happens? What do you tell your younger self? And like most people were like, you're going to tell your younger self it's going to be okay. And I did this and I, it wasn't that way around. Like my younger self was fierce, strong, undeniable, like de undefeated, like, I was such like a strong child, like nothing would affect me. I laughed, I never had any illnesses, like I had a strong friendship group, I had an amazing life when I was younger. And then I think in my 20s, which was a huge learning curve for me, I come from a really small, god this is going to get, we're going get deep guys, I come from a really small countryside town and I feel like I was very shaded protected from like real life and real people um there's a word for it isn't it i had a very sheltered upbringing and i'm, I'm very thankful for that that's been a bless such a blessing that honestly but i think i don't think i was ready for the effects of what bad people could have on me and um uh, i think when i hit 20s and i left home i really was naive to the type of people that were out there um yeah and i feel like it's just taken to reach now to get boundaries in place to spot these people and to not let them affect me in the slightest and i feel so i feel so like myself for the first time in a long time i feel like when you watch my instagram you can see it like i feel like me again and like when i was ill and i've just felt like that year when so many people were taking advantage of me when i was at my weakest like that girl that scammed me out of fifty thousand when i was at my lowest point health wise in my whole entire life like i hope karma comes and gets her <laughs> i mean i'm trying to go get her but like a lot of stuff takes so bloody long but honestly i will be after her for the rest of my life no one messes with a northerner <laughs> Um, but yeah, I learned the hard way just to like, so this year I keep my friends really, really close. 
like my circle is so tight and I think it's been such a blessing like once I got rid of all the toxic stuff I just thrived so I can't recommend that enough if you're surrounded by like negativity whether that's a relationship in friends and jobs get rid of it and start again like go back to the start and start from scratch because now I, I, I don't know I just feel like myself so much better like I feel I don't know just I feel like me as a teenager me as a kid like I don't know I just feel like me again if that's hard to explain like I'm very mentally stable like I don't suffer from anxiety I don't suffer from depression the only thing that affects my mental state is other people I am so affected by it like I think it's the empath in me like I so feel other people's emotions so I have to be so careful in who I like let in I'm really rambling this was not meant to be really deep but I just thought because like at the beginning of the year I was all over the place wasn't I and I was like I'm staying in London for three months I'm moving and then last year I was like I'm moving to Paris I moved to Cannes Monaco you must think what the heck what planet is Laura on <laughs> and I don't know myself like it's been a real weird few years but I feel like it was a, a few years that I had to have because I feel so much wiser so if you're going through shit just know that you come out of it wiser than people that haven't been through that shit so use it as a blessing in disguise because you'll get to such a stronger place so yeah onwards and upwards this year is gonna be I'm determined the best year of my life <laughs> everything's gonna fall into place I'm not worrying about it like obviously I can get chucked out of this place at any time and I'm just gonna ride it out until it happens and then we'll look for a house we'll look for somewhere else to live I'm just riding it out but I just wanted to let you guys know your girl's happy we're thriving we've got lots of work coming up which I'm so excited about and yeah also I wanted to have a little chit chat with you guys and I was gonna do this on Instagram because I feel like there's so many new people and they might not know me and I feel like the persona that I probably give out on Instagram is not like me. <laughs> it is, but like I don't take life seriously at all. And I think it would be good like the new people to get to know me a bit better. So if you have any questions, because this is going to be for YouTube, if you have any questions you want to ask me, you can be nosy as hell. Ask them in the comment section and I will answer them every single next video in a vlog. So like if you're ever curious about anything or want to chat through your own problems, let's have a chit chat. I want to get make this channel like more interactive with you guys because I feel like we've got such a good little group on this internet and like even though my other plat platforms are bigger, I've seen you guys for years on here. Like so many of you have followed me since the start and I like love this little group that we've created and it's such a friendly positive environment so yeah any anything you want to discuss in the comments down below like i'd even love to know like who you are like what you do how old are you where are you from so interesting to me because i feel like this group on youtube are very different to the other platforms so yeah i'm gonna go out shooting and i'll catch up with you guys later